channel. I am back today with a henna tattoo tutorial. It's been a while since I've made a video. With the holidays, I've just kind of been slacking and not filming. Ooh, sorry. I'm just in a new place in my house right now because my room is super messy. So I'm back today with a tutorial on henna tattoos. Um, this is mine right here. This is the kit that I got. This is black. Chegua? Chegua? Who knows? Anyways, it's temporary tattoo. It's not necessarily henna. It's safe, all natural, and it's easy to apply. Um, there is no PPD. It is not black henna. I know a lot of people are probably going to think it's black henna, so I'm just letting you know that it's not black henna. I got this kit off of Amazon. Some tips from my experience is first you want to exfoliate your hand or your skin or wherever you're doing it just to get rid of dead skin cells and it will make your tattoo your henna tattoo last longer another thing that you should do before you apply the henna to your skin is take a few drops of vinegar with water and just rub that over the area so that it gets rid of any extra skin oils dirt whatever and then after that make sure that your skin is completely dry before you add your henna um, this kit comes with tattoo like temporary little like templates for you to stick on your skin I opted not to do that I didn't like any of the designs that came in the kit for what I was going for so I just went on Pinterest and found a couple inspiration pictures just to kind of get a feel of how I wanted my design to look um, and this is what it, I came out with. When you are applying your tattoo, um, keep uh, cotton balls or cotton swabs and toothpicks with you because if you're like me and you screw up, the dye penetrates your skin very quickly. So as soon as you put it on, if there's a line that you don't like, scrape it off with a toothpick or wet a Q-tip and just dab it off your skin because I know on one finger I like had a design and then it was still wet I was like oh I don't like that so I got rid of it quick and then I did a different one and then as it's drying I can now see a little bit of my flower design which is fine I'm not like mad about it but a couple things you can do to keep your henna longer is adding lemon juice I did not do this I read it after I had already mixed my henna and applied it is that you can add lemon juice to your mixture that though so I'm not telling you that you should and research it first um, what I did do with lemon juice is actually just take it on a paper towel and then I pressed it onto my hand after the henna paste had dried the enzymes in the lemon juice just help it activate the enzymes in here and it extracts the dye into your skin deeper apparently we'll see who knows next I would let your paste dry on your hand for two to four hours and even longer, if you can just let the paste sit on your skin and dry and flake off naturally, that's what I would do. The kit says that you can peel it off with your fingers after three hours, I think. After three hours. But I'm just letting mine sit. And then when it peels off, it peels off. I do know that it takes 24 to 40 hours to develop completely. If you are going to sleep later that night, I would suggest wrapping your henna up in saran wrap. You can put... A little bit of a lotion barrier on there if it's at least like eight hours after just so that if you're sleeping your hand doesn't like get on your face and if it like sits on your face for like three hours out of the night you're gonna like get some of the design on your face and no one wants a face tattoo well maybe you do but not on accident anyways so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye
questions, we'll leave them down on the bottom bar. No, that's not what I mean. Leave them in the comment section, not on the bottom bar. You can't talk in the bottom bar. Only I can. Oh, India, that whole area of like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Everything I just said was so weird. Okay. 